Hi campers! My name is Elisa and my name is Clara and today we're going to be showing you guys how to make paper, paper fortune, fortune tellers. To do this you'll need one piece of construction paper, markers or colored pencils, and optional scissors. We're going to be showing you guys how to do it with and without scissors so don't worry if you don't have any. First, grab your paper and lay it out on a flat surface in front of you. The first step is to create a perfect square with the piece of paper. Fold one of the top corners until the top edge of the paper is exactly in line with the side opposite of the corner you started out on. The end result should look like this. Then, if you have scissors, cut the rectangle at the side of the paper like so. If you do not have scissors, fold down the portion of the paper you want to cut. Do this repeatedly. After about three to four folds, the paper should easily tear along the fold line, like this. Now you have a perfect square. You should see a fold line going from one corner of the paper to the opposite corner. Create another fold line by folding your paper like so. You should now have two fold lines that meet in the middle, right at the center of the square. Now take the four corners of your square and fold them inwards toward the center. Use the point at the center of the circle that you've created to show you where your four corners should meet. The result should look like this small square. Turn the paper over and repeat the last step. Fold the new corners inwards towards the center. you should now have an even smaller square. You're finally at the last step. Fold this fortune teller twice more like so to create a very small square. Then unfold those two folds. Open up the bottom of the paper fortune teller and push out the flaps. Try and wriggle your fingers in there. As you can see, it may take a few tries, but you should be able to eventually get them in. And now you have your fortune teller. Now comes the decorating. Start by coloring the outside of the fortune teller whatever colors you like. Clara chose these colors, but you can do whatever colors you want. Then flip the fortune teller over and on the inside flaps, write out the numbers one through eight like so. Finally, you can open the flaps and start writing out one fortune behind each number. In this part, feel free to get creative. Think about all the things that you dream could happen to you. Clara wrote, you will meet your favorite singer this year under her first flap. You can write anything you wish would happen and surprise your friends and family with some awesome fortunes. Write out a fortune for each number of the fortune teller. And this is how you play. Okay, Clara, what color do you want? I'll do blue. B L U E. What number do you want? I'll do four. One, two, three, four. I'll pick seven. You will meet your favorite singer this year. <laughs> Yay! We hope you guys had fun making your fortune tellers. And have fun and get creative with them. You can do a bunch of different colors and anything you like. Have a great summer. We miss you guys.